The coronavirus as the Delta variant spreads across California. Scientists have now detected hundreds of cases of that new offshoot that may be even stronger. It is nicknamed Delta Plus. ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain what makes it different. In India, where the Delta variant is already responsible for 90% of new infections, officials have just called for even stricter public health measures in certain states. That's after scientists found a sublineage of the variant nicknamed Delta Plus. Last month, the Indian government categorized Delta Plus as its own variant of concern, saying there's evidence it's even more transmissible than its namesake and more elusive to our immune defenses. Delta Plus is so new, there's not much data on it yet, but it's been found in at least 15 countries and 17 U.S. states, including California. It's still rare, though. Only about 500 cases have been sequenced and shared worldwide since it first emerged in March. This virus just keeps mutating, so it's now made another mutation, um, just one, um, that has been linked to further evasion of human immune responses. So that's why they call it the Delta variant plus. UC San Diego virologist Dr. Davy Smith says Delta plus has one extra mutation in its spike proteins at the 417th position called K417N. The mutation swaps one structural building block acid for another. And while it's new for the Delta variant, it's a trick the virus has used before in the beta variant from South Africa. This particular one changes its shape a little bit to evade our antibodies. The concern is that the mutation could make antibody treatments and vaccines less effective against Delta Plus. Overall, studies show the vaccines in the U.S. are still effective against the parent Delta variant, but not at the same 95% efficacy level. A British study in May found the Pfizer vaccine was 88% effective against Delta. A Scottish study in June found it was 79% effective. A Canadian study found it was 87% effective. And a study in Israel found the Pfizer vaccine was just 64% effective. They were done in different populations with different timing and different ways of uh, collecting data. Dr. Smith says these shifting numbers should be expected because the studies were done outside of a controlled clinical trial using a relatively small number of breakthrough infections. The good news in all these studies are that the people don't go on to develop severe COVID-19 or need hospitalization. He says the vaccines clearly work against Delta and will likely work against Delta Plus. Health officials in England said very preliminary results from a small number of vaccine recipients are reassuring. However, further testing is required. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News.